Shanice Danae here. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button and ring the bell so that way you don't miss when I upload a video, okay? So today's video, we're gonna be talking about my eight month update. I asked all of you guys on Instagram questions about what do you have questions about my lock extension slash locks? <laughs> so we're just gonna jump right into the video because I don't wanna talk too much. So let's get into it. So, so far I've been receiving a lot of questions um, about if your hair butt goes through the budding process when you have lock extensions and the answer is yes but it really just depends on how your hair is done my hair was locked first and then i had lock extensions added onto some of my locks so just be mindful of that so it did go through for myself it did go through the budding process um so i'm going to show you guys like a little close-up give me one second so you can kind of see here where I did go through the budding process. Um, my hair is locked. It has like a wavy texture to it because I had um, a twist, a rope twist, and I took it out. So um, yeah, so my hair did go through the budding process. As you can see, you can't really tell like where the um, where my hair stops and where the lock extension starts. And that's something that I love. My hair actually blended really good into my lock extension, but my hair is really thick too. So I'm not sure if that played a part. Okay, someone asked me if I experienced any thinning. I did experience one thinning lock, but I actually had got it fixed. It wasn't because my lock extension was too heavy or anything like that. It was mainly because, I don't know, it was just natural for me pulling my hair up. So like, it was like one on the side that kind of thin just a tiny tiny bit but i'm very 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 particular when it comes to my locks so if it doesn't feel like smooth straight down um and i wouldn't even say smooth straight down but if it doesn't feel the same amount of thickness going down then i feel like in my mind it's thinning so i wouldn't really say that it was like thinning to the point where it was like about to break off but to me i'd rather hurry up and nip it in the bud before any serious issues can take effect um so to answer your question i don't think my locks are thinning at all i think it's more of me just uh, i just know my locks i know every single one of them so like when i'm touching my hair and i'm feeling my hair if something doesn't feel right then i talk to my lactician and i'm like does this feel normal to you she's probably like shanice you're crazy but listen i'd rather get it right first how do i make my retwist last honestly um hmm, that's a good question my hair my lactician she's the shit i ain't even gonna lie to you guys if you live in the tampa area and you're looking for someone to do your locks definitely hit, hit up um gems inceptions she's really really good i'll put her information down below in the description box for you guys but um my hair just lasts i don't really put my hair up too much but i do a style um rather if it's like if i get a twist out or something like that if i do rope twists it allows my twist to last longer my my i could stretch it at least eight weeks like this i haven't had my hair retwisted since december 27th and we're at the end of january so actually tomorrow's february 1st so my hair is doing a really good job i'm probably not going to get my hair retwisted until around valentine's day so i mean yeah so it's really up to you um on how the longevity of how your retwist lasts i just don't really do much to it i don't manipulate my hair i don't touch my hair believe it or not like i just kind of swoop my edges and call it a day and if it looks a little messy in the roots it just looks messy in the roots i just let it be so they want to know so okay so a lot of people ask questions about my lock extensions and if i'm having any trouble with my lock my natural lock and my lock extension blending in together no i am not honestly i can't even really feel i can only feel the difference a little bit because my hair is a little bit softer than the lock extension and i can tell like this one this is the lock extension here with this one this is my hair here wait no yeah here it is okay so the lock extension is here you see how it's like moving like that do i miss my hair being unlocked um no i don't i don't miss my hair being um loose natural at all because for me my hair was so thick it was just becoming too much and too overwhelming for me it was either that or shave my hair off i cut my hair like really really short maybe three times since like 2008 because it's just so much and being locked is honestly the best thing or the best decision i've ever made because it's just so much easier and i don't have to like wake up and do my hair in the morning or anything like that it's just low maintenance 
have any of my locks slid out oh no ma'am oh my gosh i had a dream about that i told you guys about that last um lock update but <laughs> no my hair is not nothing slipping out my hair is like locked it's not going nowhere like oh that kind of hurts pulling that but yeah it's not going anywhere so what are your favorite styling products i can say i love the ali key naturals line um i use castor oil i use um the lemongrass by ali k naturals i really love that a lot i can make a separate video for that guys because i feel like there are a few products and shampoos that i love and i would rather just kind of save time and just put that all in one video for you so someone asked someone asked how long will i keep my lock extensions in honestly probably until uh, forever because i mean it's if i happen to cut my locks then eventually they'll probably come out anyway um but I don't really plan on doing anything with them or taking them out because they're not causing me any issues. And I don't think down in the future that they'll cause me any issues either because my hair has been mathematically separated correctly so that way my hair is throwing, growing out the same amount of thickness as my lock extensions. So that way I don't have an issue and that's one of the reasons why you wanna be careful on who you allow to do your locks. Okay, so someone asked if when I wash my hair if I'm noticing any of mine becoming detached from my natural lock and no I have not at all like I can literally like pull on my hair and nothing will happen um so again that's why I, that's why I stress that like yeah you can pay you know six hundred five hundred dollars three hundred dollars to get your, your locks done but there's so many things that go into it like I cannot stress that enough and no I'm not saying like spend a thousand dollars on getting your hair locked but I mean you spend about a thousand dollars a year to get your hair done anyway so I don't really understand what the difference is but again that's your choice I'm just saying just be careful do your research do your research so that way you know exactly what to expect what not to do um and what to look for whenever you're making this permanent decision you know what i mean but all in all guys um this is my up eight month update i have no issues no complaints um i'm sorry that i'm not doing them like you know every two months it's just because i don't really have a lot to update you guys and i don't want to just make a video just to make it so yeah so if you guys have any other further questions just leave me a comment down below but you guys know what i always say thank you so much for supporting my channel but until next time do say